My name is Rick Grimes. When I figured it out, and I figured it out pretty quickly, I wanted to break your jaw. Now, the only way you and me keep on is that you accept everything I just said right here, right now, and we move forward with that understanding. Welcome to another edition of Hacks in Action with your host, Rick Grimes. In this particular clip, I want to showcase that desync is real and how, in fact, auto lock or aimbot counteracts desync. We have Stormin TV and another particular player in a tree engagement. Desync will show the video presentation of the player in one location when reality the player is actually in another location. Desync is a big problem in the game for legit players because it makes visual acuity very hard to dial in. So what we're going to do here is watch how Stormin plays visually or the lack thereof. We'll start the clip where he's coming around the tree. He'll fire one shot manually right here. And it's dead on the head of the other player. Hits nothing. Right here. Hits absolutely nothing. Whoop, hits just past the tree and the dirt. And now he comes around to the other side of the tree. Probably going to hit that mouse button number five, which I already know is his hotkey to turn on the actual program. So he presses the hotkey with his thumb and aims it and then just presses the trigger death. And you'll see this actually lock on to a player who's not inside of the reticle. There's one. He's raising the aim. He should fire here. It's really crazy how he doesn't fire here. I think it it's really just blatantly clear that the reticle shifts to the left and the other player is still standing between him and the tree. But yet, he gets a hit right there. Fires the shot with the character between the reticle and the tree. Why is that? That's because aimbot uses memory injection. It doesn't go off of visuals. It knows where the player is even if the visuals don't show it. That's rendering. That's part of your GPU. That's part of the server, the internet. But the memory is intact. So it knows exactly where the player is. And it locks onto him, which happens to be to the left of the guy you actually see. And that's where his reticle locked onto. In a stationary engagement, you aim for the head. He aims for the sky. He aims for nothing. And he still hits it. Let's continue. If that happened just one time, maybe. Maybe, ladies and gentlemen, I would be inclined to think that was a lucky shot. But watch the very next set of shots and where he aims. This will blow your mind. That one looks sketchy. Not really positive if it's real because it seems kind of too good to be true. But this one will literally blow your mind. Here we go. Here's the player clearly to the right of the tree. Clearly the reticle is in the woods to the right. I don't know where he's aiming, but it's locked on to something to the right. It is locked on to something to the right, and it is not the player in front of him. Because if he was aiming for the player in front of him, he would be targeting the head in front of him. Since he is behind a tree and not really moving that much. He just aims for the side of the tree. However, he aims to the right of this player and a significant gap between it. I'll even move a little bit further just so you can see. There's a little bit more. Oh, and there's a hit. And the reticle still hasn't reached the head. Which means he fired the bullet before the reticle actually even moved that close. So he fired the bullet to the right even further. But yet he got two consecutive headshots. That's the first headshot. And there's the second one. Where's the reticle finishing? So far I still only see this guy right here. But the reticle's still over here. This particular player actually is standing where the reticle is. And his aimbot has locked on to the head figure where this player should be standing. Unfortunately, 
it's not where he's standing he's standing over here so visually wise he should be aiming over here aimbot wise he should be aiming over here to the right there's no way to explain this there's no way to defend this you cannot tell me that both particular shots are luck that he just happened to know to aim in the woods to hit him in the head is able to lock on to nothing and still get headshots and two of them now it's not always desync and sometimes the reticle lines up but this particular video shows that even with desync and even though the player appears to be in one area he will still aim to a complete other area to get the same results because that's how the hack works it locks on to the actual target now I'm going to show you again you're gonna watch it and see it for what it's worth aims at his head misses hits the mouse button five aims to the left hits aims to the right hits but if you see it right here's the beauty of this watch the reticle slide across the tree and lock on to not this guy's head it locks on to not this guy's head and fires two shots you'll see it when you see it it'll be <laughs> it's amazing and slide whoosh, there it is that's the auto lock and shifts goes around the tree and you'll see it again shoots to the left still gets a hit slides to hit nothing again you will see this target to the left of the first target there's that manual shot that he missed you see how he lined that one up with the head though and to the left he should shoot here but he doesn't he shoots there and slides over because it auto locked and shoots to the right of the target which isn't the target this still photo right here should show you all you need to know about storm and tv he locked on to where the character doesn't appear to be but that's where the character really is because that's where aimbot locked on to he cannot explain this cannot explain this he will just merely dismiss it as lag or desync I rest my case ladies and gentlemen this particular guy is in fact a cheater and <laughs> there is in fact nothing you can say or do about it and no names you call me <laughs> matter at all I actually encourage you to come into the channel and post more I'm going to keep trying to show the community the truth I will continue to improve the community the best way I know how and it is to get rid of people like Stormin who in fact are toxic and cause an unrealistic level of gameplay expectations for new players who come into the game it is unfair and it is unreal what is real is this guy's cheating this has been another Rick Grimes production if you like the video drop a like if you want to watch more content from Rick Grimes subscribe there's always new content coming out and I always appreciate more followers this channel is not monetized this is not to get notoriety this channel is for the players in the community the truth will be shown the wrongs will be righted and we will clean this up thank you and good day how can you defend that you're not seeing things right but you can't come back from this I know you can